Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today is the last, I think, of the Paris vlogs I have to share with you. I've already taken you with us to Dior, to Rue Cambon Chanel, to Fendi, to Vintage Hermes, Vintage Chanel, and it's been fabulous. I hope you've enjoyed coming and seeing all of those stores with us because I have very much enjoyed taking you along. Today, I think is the last of these vlogs. Today we are gonna go and visit Louis Vuitton. I cannot stay out of a Louis Vuitton store. No! <laughs> Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Bestie's favorite store. We actually had a really good time and some purchases in Gucci and also Hermes. This is spread across two of the Hermes stores. It is the flagship store and it is also the store out in Saint Germain. So I hope you enjoy this footage. I hope you've enjoyed these vlogs. Next to come are the unboxings because of course there are unboxings. All of these stores, oh, there's unboxings. They're coming next. If you have enjoyed this little series of Paris vlogs, please do give this a thumbs up. Please do consider subscribing if you've enjoyed this and would like to see more of this type of content. But for now, let's go shopping in Paris. We started in Gucci, which is Bestie's favorite store. We went first thing on the first day of our trip. They had some beautiful pieces in the window. The hard side of the Gucci was really, really interesting. I really, really liked these. They also had some of the bamboo handle bags in the window and some of the bright clothing. And we all know I'm drawn to bright colors. So we went into Gucci to have a look to see what there was. We brought quite a bit home from Gucci on the last trip and Gucci was successful again. On this trip, we started in the menswear. I was trying not to buy Gucci and leave that to Bestie, but I have a confession to make and there is a Gucci unboxing to come. So we had a look at the menswear. There was quite a few bits that I was actually quite interested in. I like shopping from the menswear. I like the oversized look and there were a few things that Bestie were looking at. The cardigan that I'm trying on is actually an extra large from the menswear line. It's not overly big for an extra large, but it's got that big slouchy look and I thought it was a bit of a vibe. I did also like some of the these bags that were on display, the traditional Gucci, but with the dark navy. This I thought was fabulous. This display I thought was fabulous. Love is everything. I just really, really liked it. I was in love with this bag. The colour of it more so than the actual bag, but I kept going back to the colour of the really bright tangerine orange as it just really, really grabbed me. I tried some of these other bags on with the interesting prints. I did like some of them, but I just couldn't get the colour of the orange out of my head. I kept going back to it. The colour was just fabulous. The yellow colour also but here we go back to the orange again. I think we can see what is my favourite of these colours. I love these, but I tried those Espridils on and they were not comfortable, but I thought they looked fabulous. I also tried on the boot version, which I really, really liked these, but they didn't have my size. I would have bought these if they had have had my size in them. I loved the multicolour on them. Really comfortable. The Espadrilles, not so much. We had a look at a few more of the bags they have, but then the SA who was serving us, who was really, really lovely, brought out some of the very special hard-sided pieces for us to have a play with. These were fabulous. This case, I thought, oh, for toilet trays, I just thought it was really, really fab. It was quite heavy. I think perhaps Monroe Steel maybe has this, but I really, really liked it. I loved the inside of it. I thought this would be brilliant as also a decor piece sitting in your dressing room, but also to wear. This one, I thought, was really, really fab. This put me in mind of a smaller mini version of a hard-sided briefcase. It also reminded me a little bit of the Louis Vuitton trunks, but I loved the colours on it. I loved the webbing, but it also could be used for decor as well as being worn. Then we left Gucci and went around to Louis Vuitton, which we all know is one of my absolute favourite stores. It's one of my favourites of the luxury houses. And again, we had a fabulous welcome and were treated really, really well by Louis Vuitton. The first store that we're in here is the Vendôme store. You can see the light is 
spilling in through this building in the beautiful weather. They didn't have a huge selection because we were there just after Fashion Week. You can see how light they are on Capucines. There was a number of things we were looking for they didn't have. I thought I would love this yellow bag. I thought I would be going home with that yellow bag. But when I tried it on, I just wasn't right. This little ostrich bag was pretty special that you can see Joe trying on. But the yellow, oh, I really thought I was going to buy it. And I just... When I tried it on, I didn't love it as much as I thought I would. They did have a lot to see. I love this collection. Love this multicolored men's collection. I think it's absolutely fabulous. If those trainers came on my size, I would have bought them. I just am drawn to them with the colors. I thought they were fabulous. The men's, again, there wasn't a huge amount. The things Bestie were looking at, they didn't have most of them. There's those bright colors again. They're just absolutely fabulous. I did love this little this little orange bag, which is the Keep All in the XS, XS size. I tried that a few times. Loved the color, loved the bag, loved the strap individually. But when I put it on, there was just something that wasn't right. And I don't know what it was. It, it all seemed to work, but didn't, if you know what I mean. Again, clothing this time, I looked at a number of the pieces, but there just wasn't anything that, like the coat on our last trip, just grabbed me and I had to have it. This time, the things we were looking for in this Louis Vuitton store, they didn't have all of them. They didn't have a number of the pieces. They didn't have sizes. It was shortly after Fashion Week and they did say that had impacted their stock. There's me with the Birkin. Uh, if only I could pick that up in Louis Vuitton as easy as I could pick up the other bags. This is actually now into the Bon Marche store where we again had a really, really lovely time and treated well. I love these seats. If only I could afford one of these hanging in my house. Not sure what my husband would think of that. Love these yellow colours. Love the bright colours of them. Really love that raspberry pink epi trunk. Oh my goodness, I am. Oof. The papillion bag in the monogram. I really, really like this. I think it's very unusual. I tried it on in the beige colour in the Vendôme store and I prefer this one. I think it's there's something really about this. I did again look at the twists. There was more capucines to look at in this store. I looked at these hard sided trunks which are actually from the men's line. I really really liked them as well. Loved that twist with the pink hardware and the bright strap. Loved these. Although mm, there was something about these. I have a solitaire diamond to show you that I actually preferred Liked the colour of this, liked the denim colour, liked it with these jeans. Tried these jewellery a couple of times, but just wasn't right. And then these, mm, interesting, they're pink and they're just not for me. But yes, now to Hermes. Okay, this is the Faubourg store, the flagship store. It's a stunning, stunning building. During the day, whenever you're in it, it can be really, really busy. It has this time a lot more stock than it did when we were there in December. There were actually a lot more bags to look at. When we were there in December, they didn't even really have any behind the glass cases. There was more, definitely more this time. I enjoyed looking at their displays. I enjoyed looking at their bags. We didn't actually get a, an appointment. So all seven of us tried all three nights. So we had 21 goes and we didn't get an appointment on any of those tries. Now, I wasn't heartbroken by that. If we'd got one, it would have been a bonus. Not getting one certainly wasn't ruining my trip. We had a fabulous, fabulous time. But I think it does just show that it is really, really hard to get them. They did tell us that they get approximately 6,000 requests per day for an appointment across all three stores. And they have about 100 appointments available. So that, do the maths, I suppose. And it shows just how difficult it is. I think if you were going to Paris and your whole purpose was to try and get an appointment, I would be worried you could be disappointed. This orange colour that's in, I absolutely love it. I think it's so fresh and fabulous. I enjoyed seeing the Constance. I liked the Constance much more than I thought that I would. This guy I thought looked fabulous. I also got to see they had a mini Kelly on display. I've never actually seen one, so it was good to see the actual size of it, although they had it in a neutral colour and I would much prefer it in a bright colour. I love these bright blankets. I really like their homeware. I really like the bright colours. This blanket, you can see the blue one in the background. Bestie loved it, but it was over €4,000 because it was cashmere and he wasn't paying that for a blanket. And I can't say that I blame him, but there was... There was a, a lot to see. This is now the store over in St. Germain. There's the horse's head that Bestie brought home the last time and I unceremoniously dropped while unboxing it. But he's forgiven me. This store was very relaxed. They allowed you to just walk around without being accompanied. It 
there was no pressure felt in this store. I actually thought it was really nice to have a look around in this store. They had a lot to see as well. They had some bags on display. They had a beautiful pink Hermes Constance. But again, if you don't have an appointment, you can't get to see the leather bags. There was a bracelet in this store that I wanted to buy, but unfortunately they didn't have my size. And my fabulous essay in Dublin is trying to track it down for me. That is our last vlog. That's Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Hermes. Thank you so much for coming with me. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.